Well, everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and compare Google Drive and OneDrive and pretty much see which specific option is the better one for you. Now, these two cloud offerings are provided by massive, massive corporations. So we have Google on one side and we have Microsoft on the other. Now, personally, I like both. I think both of them have great value for sure. And I don't really think there's one that's completely like the no brainer. I will say if you're using something like an Android phone or you're using a lot of Google products, then using something like Google Drive would make the most amount of sense for sure. That is going to be the tool that is probably going to be the one that, you know, works best for a lot of people. But if you're on like, if you're super submerged in the Microsoft ecosystem, so let's say you use a lot of things from like Microsoft 365. So all those office tools, you know, Excel, but you also use things maybe like, you know, just a lot of Windows PCs or something like that. Well, maybe OneDrive would work a little bit better for you, but even then you can still use both offerings on both devices. Like you can download OneDrive on your Android phone, on your iPhone. So you still have this massive ecosystem that you can, you know, kind of get merged in. And that is a really cool thing. So there's not really one that's like the no brainer in my opinion. However, from my personal experience, I've always preferred Google Drive a little bit more just because it does kind of flow into my workflow a little bit better. I like the UI a little bit more and I do feel like I use a lot more Google products like Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides. Like I feel like I use those products a little bit more than I use like you know, PowerPoint or Microsoft Word anymore. Now, first of all, both of these cloud offerings do actually give you free storage capacity. So on Google Drive, they actually do give you 15 gigabytes completely for free, which is actually super cool. Like that is a lot of, you know, storage just for having that free tier. I've seen a lot of other, you know, cloud offerings that only give you five gigabytes, including OneDrive. So OneDrive, you get that basic tier and it basically gives you, you know, five gigabytes of storage. So you can pretty much store whatever you want to in that specific, you know, storage space. And that's kind of how it works. You know, it's definitely not anything crazy, but if you need, you know, a couple gigabytes to just store some files, you have it there. But I do feel like Google Drive, I mean, it's been at 15 gigabytes for a long period of time. And I will tell you that is one massive feature for that specific, you know, you know, cloud provider. I'm going to be completely honest. Now, this is specifically for your home. If you go up to the business here, it's going to be a little bit different. You know, obviously there's paid plans, so you can only get a paid plan if you go through, you know, with the business tier. Now, the lowest gigabyte offering that you get from both offerings is 100 gigabytes. So the price for 100 gigabytes on both is a little bit different as well. So for 100 gigabytes on the Google Drive side, you're getting $15.99 basically per year. So definitely not super expensive. You know, it's definitely not the most expensive plans I've ever seen. On the OneDrive side, you are paying $23.88 basically for it as of right now. So again, it's a little bit different. They do have some deals right now where it's like $19.99, but typically that will go ahead and, you know, kind of be taken out and things like that can happen. So we're basically comparing like $20 here against like $16. So again, it's a little bit cheaper on the Google Drive side as well. But I will tell you, as you kind of go up and up on the storage, you know, variants, it does look like OneDrive could be actually giving you more, you know, offerings and or more things to the table than potentially one than potentially Google Drive, which is actually kind of cool. So one big thing that I've actually kind of do like about OneDrive is that the max tier storage does actually go higher than what, you know, Google Drive kind of gives you. So on Google Drive, the highest storage variant that you can actually get is up to two terabytes. So you can pay $12 basically a month and you can get two terabytes of storage. Whereas on Microsoft OneDrive, you are getting six terabytes of storage for $100 basically a year. So if you split that up, it's actually going to still be cheaper than essentially what Google Drive is giving you. But on top of that, what Microsoft OneDrive is giving you is that it's giving you secure and ad-free email and calendar, support via chat, data and device protection, advance, all this other stuff. But it also includes OneDrive, Outlook, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Defender Teams, you know, Editor Family Center. But those are some really cool things that it actually comes with your, you know, office tools without having you to go ahead and, you know, purchase them separately. Well, you can just go ahead and use them. However, like I said, with Google Drive, you do have Google Docs, you have Google Sheets, you have Google Slides, you have Google Forms, you have Gmail, you have Google Meet, like you have a lot of these tools built in as well. They may not be, you know, exactly one to one as, you know, Microsoft Word, but they are very, very close. And there are tons of people who actually prefer Google Docs over, you know, PowerPoint or Microsoft Word or anything like that. So those are some other things to keep in mind as well. Now, on top of that, 
they both offer, you know, kind of like these monthly and yearly sharing type of situations. So essentially, if you were planning on keeping one for more than a year, you're really going to be in the same ballpark for both. And I will say from my experience of using both, they're pretty much seamless. If you want to drag and drop a file within them, if you want to go ahead and create folders on your desktop, or if you have an iPhone or Android and you want to store your files or photos in those specific, you know, in those cloud offerings, well, you can do exactly the same thing on both. Like there's pretty much no difference there at all. The only difference you're really going to see is that if you're going through and if you're using any of these other, you know, outside tools. So if you're using Google Drive or Google Docs a lot, well, it might make sense to use Google Drive. If you're using things like Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel, and if you're already pretty much paying for Google Drive and you don't see yourself really ever using any of other Google products besides Google Drive, well, then it might make sense to go and switch over to OneDrive. It's a little bit cheaper if you're trying to get the maximum amount of storage. However, it may not be as seamless as an experience if you're using it on like an Android phone or like a Samsung Galaxy Tab, situations like that. But both of these devices, but both these cloud offerings are really good. And I'm actually a humongous fan of how both these have held up so far. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.